Look, we're going to get underway here. It's game number one of your grand finals for the Nunyug Championships. Let's go ahead and send it over to our casters now. It's LD and Gods. Gentlemen, take it away. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. We are live here in Singapore getting ready for game number one of this best of five showdown. Should be a doozy. It should, LD. I'm excited. This is the best kind of possible outcome, the best matchup you could hope for in a grand finals. Hoping we get four or five long games in. Just can't wait to see what these teams have in store for us. All right, God. So introducing the teams now, as it is game one, we're going to have Misery playing the Earthshaker. Uh, momentary pause. Let's see if we can fix this mini-map. Oh, we've got a moment here. We have, we have the Chinese computers now, so we're, oh. we're adjusting last minute. And looking at these drafts, it's very much Team Secret. Seem to have the overall kind of team fight edge. Um, but Vici Gaming, they've got the stronger lanes. They picked the Undying Alchemist first too. And as much as we kind of talk about Alchemist being a hero you want to shut down, not as easier said than done. Like you can apply a lot of pressure, but when he's just sitting there spamming acid farming away, there's not really any surefire way to shut him down. How's our minimap looking, LD? How do you remove the uh, the names? Do you know? Uh, the names on the, the minimap. Mini -map. It, it would be show hero icons on minimap with all. There you go. With all. Yep. The more you know. Ah, I want the dots. You want the dots? I want the dots. I'll oh, settle for oh, this. Okay, okay, okay. I see what you mean. Let me. I'll investigate in red. All <laughs> right. Well, in, in the meanwhile, gods, we heard the analyst breakdown of the draft. They went back for a juggernaut pick after seeing the ancient apparition. So heavy reliance on heal for this lineup, and as they talked about, obviously, Secret with the really scary mid-game team fight. Do you think BG Gaming can win these lanes? Do you agree that they have to win the lanes to have a good shot in the mid-game? And if so, what are like some of the key matchups that you're looking for? I don't like the idea of BG Gaming's lineup falling behind. Alchemist always a, always a hero who wants to be ahead in terms of his overall farm. He doesn't want to be playing catch-up. Uh, similarly, like the Undying is very much meant to be a pressure hero. They don't play well they struggle in the lanes. The only thing they've kind of got to fall back on is what looks to be a safe lane free farming juggernaut for burning. So if they fall behind early, everything comes down to burning, rotating, finding successful key kills, and then turning the game around from there. For Secret, I mean, by no means have they outdrafted Vici Gaming here. They're very reliant, I think, on the AA Ice Blast in those team fights. If these Ice Blasts don't land, then you could be in for some trouble because there's a lot of heal and sustain coming out on the Vici side. You've got Chemical Rage, Soul Rip, Healing Ward, and if you miss an ice boss, that could be the difference between winning and losing a team fight. Very likely will be. Definitely agree. I'd like to me, this game is almost entirely on Puppy. If he's on point with the ice blasts, fights could get really ugly very quickly for Vici Gaming, and he doesn't have that much setup. There's the sleep and there's the fissure, and that's yep. and potentially a blink echo later on in the game, but not always the most reliable. So that could be a little. Uh, hey, if anyone can handle the pressure, it's probably Puppy. Yeah. He's certainly been on all the big stages before. Oh yeah, that's that's not going to be any problem for him. As far as nerves go in this matchup, I don't really feel either team is going to be nervous. Yes, it's a final, it's a best of five, but both these teams so accomplished, and that's why they're here today on the last day in Singapore, because they've just had so many big matches like this, and it's going to come down to who's the better team, not nerves or just who chokes or anything like that. So We haven't gotten your predictions yet. Oh. Let's get you on the record here, <laughs> so the fans can roast you if you're wrong. Uh, I don't have to leave the building alive if you don't say Vici Gaming. Yeah, Vici Gaming 3-0! Yeah. <laughs> now we're talking. Um, I, I think... Yeah, I, I, I could... I think it's going five games. That's my prediction. Oh, it could be a long night then. Hope you guys have all, you know, gotten some rest or... Caffeinated. Are ready, caffeinated, <laughs> hydrated. Make sure yeah. to use the bathroom occasionally. Now's a good time. As, uh, Did you looks... figure out your dots, LD? I've, I've got uh, you I have the icons. Yeah, you can it's do better that. Than, better than the name. Minimap alt... Always on. I think that's that's what you're looking always for. Always on. You don't ah, want it always on. I don't want it always on. Oh, yeah, there you so go. We're <sighs> in business. Much better. I fixed all the other settings, but I did not check the minimap, so. Sorry, guys. All right. Game one. Still waiting. It looks like Weeha needs to fix his setting. Something about the move directional thing. I don't know exactly what that means, but the... Uh, Weird console commands that only pro players know only what Only 8,000 <laughs> MMR point <Yeah>. players. <laughs> Just 8,000 MMR things. <laughs> so. Uh-oh. The new patch is causing us problems now. Okay. Well, We're I'm... dealing with it, though. Hey, Jackie not... Mao is on the case. Yeah. Not like they had a few hours to set up and test things, you know? No. <laughs> no the, the, bus, All right. the bus did get here a little bit late in their okay. defense. No, no. 
They were too busy preparing their magnificent interview answers. Oh yeah, they really went all out. And we are gonna go all out here tonight, folks. Hope you're excited, hope you're ready. Peachy Game 8 versus Secret, game one. Let's go. So gods, as always, Alchemist, it's all about that bounty run early on. Do you see Secret being able to stop him? Um, I don't think they want to level one fight too much. They'll be happy just to trade one for one if possible. Uh, Fish are pretty good at level one fighting, but you've got SF. You You've got five men chilling touch, but I think this will just be a, a one for one trade. Nice. They even bring in, and Vici Gaming, recognizing the importance, bring in Burning as well. They want to make sure the jug is here should a fight break out. Uh, we are taking a page out of <laughs> a Toons book, perhaps, getting the symbols going nice and early. A little swag. Uh, wake you up here in the evening in Singapore, and now the bounty rune will spawn. Looks like Alchemist will get his uncontested, so a nice start for Super. Should be that extremely fast. Well, not not bottle actually. He's gonna grab the boots first. They will get a D ward off here for FY. This is gonna be pretty big off the bat. Well, there you go. Gotta give it to the alchemist. He gets bonus gold for that. <laughs> Come on, FY. Hey, he wants to get his creep yeah. block. He, forget that. He'll get creep gold. So it is gonna be a dual lane on dual lane mid here to start guns. And they actually put burning in the off lane. So wanting to put more pressure up there. Give the jug. A nice, easy time farming from the get-go. We are taking some punishment early. They do have the Enfeeble going, but he's bruising. I lie die. He wants to fight. Oh, you want a piece of this, says Pender? He's, got he's going in. He's actually got the boots. I think he could have yeah. gone for that. Maybe, maybe you worried about getting body blocked. Yeah, you get Enfeebled, and then suddenly you don't know what's what's coming your way. Uh, close. Very good pressure early on. He's going to get back in time to stack as well, so... Pressures the lane, stacks the, the neutrals. This is... This is the ideal start from Fenrir. Yeah, making that mid lane nice and easy for Super, and he may need it as he is dealing with the Bane Harass, but it doesn't seem to be slowing him down too much, God's already 5 and 1. So check out the other lanes briefly. Ice 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 on the Beastmaster safe lane. So it'll be FY's turn to pause here, but uh, they kind of mix things up. We talked about, Merlini talked about pressuring the enemy safe lane, uh, presumably trying to slow down the Doom, but that is not exactly what we're seeing. Both teams sent their traditional offlaner to the safe lane. Yeah, this isn't so much about pressure for Secret, rather than, I think, avoiding the lanes a bit to give Doom uh, a better time in the lane stage so we can get more farm out of this. Because Ice 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 is going to get more than enough XP. He can actually do pretty well in this 1v2 situation. I think Vici Gaming, with the way they've set their lanes, do have an early game edge, but very much they've got the draft that's meant to be stronger in the laning stage. We are going to get forced back. He will salve up the Courier. Delivering a bit of regen as Pylai die hangs back. He has bought a TP scroll. But so far, Ice 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 up against the dual lane. He's still getting his levels here, has a good amount of regen. So they're not really able to shut yeah. him down. And you compare that to Misery, he is also getting his levels, but he's been forced to use a whole lot more regen early on. So he may need to make a trip back to the well a bit sooner this game. Yeah, absolutely. Poppy could be in some trouble here. That's a TP scroll. And it's Fenrir. And they do not have any lockdown as of yet. So, like you said, he can always TP out. Yeah, so looking at some of the early game CSs, it feels slightly like Secret are getting a better time. SF and Doom both sitting on 10 CS, but still very early days. The really nice thing about the laying set for Secret is that they do have Misery guaranteed XP and farm. The offlane shaker, Lumi mentioned on the panel, just doesn't seem to be working anymore. It just guarantees free farm for the enemy safe lane and doesn't even get much XP these days with the way teams use their pool camps. So Misery already being level 3 and having at least some farm to work with is working. It's going to be very good for Secret in the mid game. Yeah, despite the pressure on the Shadow Fiend mid, Weeha getting closer to that bottle, but has been forced to spend a lot of money already on regen. Is the post up still 12 last hits so far, so he is getting his souls at the very least. So we'll take, keep an eye on Fenrir here, moving back to the jungle. Looks like another stack will be in order. For Super, always worth noting, does the Alk try to sneak in that early point and go unstable, or does he go full greed mode? For now, uh, it will be another point in Grievel's greed. Not looking for the early kills. Actually going for the soul ring as well instead of the bottle. This is something he's done quite a few times. Yeah. It, it, I believe I was casting with Winter and he brought up that it just helps you clear the Ancients a bit more easily because you have a little more overall mana regen. Yeah, and it also, it, it's not like an item you have to sell later on because you do build in, well, no, sorry, you don't, what am I talking about, the Octarine Code, so you, you eventually do replace it. But and you're Alchemist. Like, yeah, like you're you alchemist. can afford you're to waste or waste a little bit of gold, yeah. so to speak. So ice 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 will chafe Pylai die a little bit here, continues to harass him. How dare you go after my boar? Max him once. Fenrir joins the party. This is not going to be fun for these supports if they're caught on their own. We also keep eyes on burning top lane. Oh, Looks like they maybe want to go, but the Doom's also here. Not the best time for Vichy to engage. 
They do force out a Scorched Earth. Boar slowing things down and the disengage. Just not very many easily killed heroes in that bottom lane at this stage. Yeah, four main rune coming up and Pilo dies to be a little bit careful with the Quill Boar with the Undying coming into contest. Might be a bounty rune grab finally for the Alchemist top. No, it's the Invis. It's the bounty bottom for Weeha. Couldn't get the the boar deny in time. Secret now. They suspect there's a ward in the neighborhood, and it looks like. Uh, mm. Don't know if they saw it, gods. It is nighttime. This is the first time we've really seen Vici game. I think the big adjustment we're seeing them make is that they are pressuring Weeha more in the mid lane. Last time they were running these more dual lanes where Fenrir would spend time top. And uh, this time Fenrir's just been mid stacking as well as pressuring, but there's no actual results from it. Super is getting dominated in last hits in the mid lane, not something you'd expect considering how much time Fenrir spent there. Yeah, he's going to have something in the way of stacks to fall back on. Now a triple stack at the big camp, but they're not slowing down the Shadow Fiend, as you're pointing out. So, Ice 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 closing in on a potential level 6, but he's a bit behind Misery in terms of the levels. He did share a bit with the Undying, so... The early stages here, the laning stage, very even in terms of gold. Experience a slight lead for Secret. Mm. If I'm Vici Gaming, the one thing that could make this early game a disaster is if somehow SF comes in and steals this big stack. So I think it they seems need... like they may want to, gods. They dropped yeah. down the sentry. They got a little bit of vision there for a moment. And they contest. It would require Weeha to completely kind of heal up and smoke with his team into that neutral camp. And if Vici Gaming, probably aware that the SF level 6, approaching level 7, that's where it, these, this stack is at risk. So they're actually going to look to farm it now. They give Fenrir the, the solo lane at mid for a bit, and Alchemist making sure they secure this before Seeker get a chance to swoop in. Yeah, he will clear out the stack here slowly, but surely has the ultimate now, so he can afford to take a little more punishment. And then good news for Vici Gaming, Burning is essentially free farming, so at least matching the Doom there. But mid lane, it's a area. Seeing their move on Fenrir, does soul rip. Yeah, should be okay. Ooh, very cool. Slice, Slice also being hurt, pursued here as Eternal Envy goes deep for this. One auto attack might get the job done. The boar slowing him down. The Scorched Earth is going to wear off. Can they counterplay this? FY wants to get in position for it. But Doom has the phase boots. Quelling Blade, and see you later, guys. Tango through. They can get a lift, but I don't think they can kill him. Maybe, Maybe they, they can with the creeps here. No, he can phase. Mm -hmm. Just phases. Keeps on walking. Slow and steady harass, though. The boar doing what he can. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, if I can catch him. Nah, not enough. While that was going on, looks like Burning almost got finished off top lane. They rotated three heroes in, but he was able to Blade Fury TP away in the nick of time. So, both carries dodging bullets. Yeah, so very much a kind of neutral early game between the two teams. No one's pulled ahead. I feel Vici Gaming come online a little bit early as far as they get a lot more out of their level sixes. A Beastmaster with a Roar, a Jug with an Omni Slash. There's a lot they of- They have a Mango here. I think they want to go oh. for this. Roar, they're going to commit. Now the Fade Boat, is it going to be enough firepower? It doesn't look like it. Ice Ice Ice, get, 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 get the hell out of there. But FY keeps it going. The Zap, the kill, yes, man. Oh my. And Ice 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 lives to tell the tale to his grandchildren. He's away. Ah. Uh. I know, that's Scorched Earth Gods, it hasn't even been nerfed just yet. Yeah. And the, the crazy thing is that FY gets a solo kill out of that too, so he's now going to hit level 6 incredibly early on in this game. We've already got spell steal, a lot of good spells around. Stealing Scorched Earth on Rubik, stealing Fissure, even just SF Razors, Bane Brain Snaps can do a lot of damage, so getting it this early is huge for Vici Gaming. On top of that, he's got the mana to support it with the fast arcane boots. Ice 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 with the roar deployed. Nice thing about this, of course, the very low cooldown compared to some other offlane initiator, yeah. so... 20 seconds, he can go again. Now first time... continues the jungle. Yeah, now's really where Vici Gaming can get a lot out of potential smoke usages. With level 6s, I kind of mentioned the Omni Slash and the Roar, they've got a lot of kill potential. Secret, don't get the same kind of scary... Oh, you've now... Ice Blast comes online soon, that's nice, but you need to set up somewhere, somewhere from like an Earthshaker Fissure. Doom hitting level 6 again, it's a, some kill potential, but you need to invest a lot of heroes, where Vici Gaming... They just need one or two heroes, normally probably just two heroes, to find a kill anywhere on the map. Like a Jug plus Beastmaster can kill anyone right now. Ice Blast is about to come online for the side of Secret, so their own kill potential may amp up as they have Doom. Burning top lane, Fissure is there, and should be going down. Yeah, the Doom will finish the job, so they got the nice Fissure for Misery. Doom committed, This Eternal Envy will rotate early onto the top lane. This is also making life a little bit easier for Weeha, because they're dragging the rest of Ichi away from the mid lane where they want to pressure. Mind cold feet was stolen, and Rubik has a pretty easy way to set that up. Might be able to find a kill. But seeing these heroes mid, Ice Ice Ice, hoping to pressure the bottom lane now. 
Thor, gonna drag the creep way back. The hawk will scout the trees. Radiance Not found the sentry just yet, so the, the gold has been slowed down just a little bit here, but still super gods. We're gonna see a fast relic. Oh, Already yeah. up to 3,600. No one stopped his jungle farm. He may have been outlasted in the lane by a shadow fiend, but that's just one of those kind of factors which doesn't really decide outcomes of the game that early on. Like, you can get dominated in lane by CS, but as long as you've got catch-up age, supports have been vigilant and continuing the stack, you're always going to make up for it. And this is like the, one of your ideal kind of relic timings. Nine minutes in the game, he's got the money for it. And she gaming continue to be aggressive, and this aggression is creating space for super to keep He already used the blade fury, so Misery thought he was safe, and he was wrong. Tries to turn it though. He gets on the enchant totem, has no echo, or he may have been able to get a counter kill. Ice blast coming in, and it will connect on burning. But not a whole lot of follow up. No doom available. It's a stolen fissure too. And so. FY with the stolen fissure, maybe he wants to try and steal something else. Colonel Envy though, last few spell looks like it was the scorched earth. Not a bad spell for a Rubik. Yeah, I think he's happy. He'd rather hold him to the Fissure though right now. One of the, the best long range initiation spells in the game. And for... are, are you satisfied if you're Beachy here? You're farming your Alchemist, the Doom is having a great start, and perhaps more importantly, Weeha, leader in terms of CS. Yeah, some of them are jungle creepy, but he's still getting really good farm. Is I, this enough for Beachy early I think on? it's a really solid early game from Beachy. Oh, this could make it even more solid. Is they gonna roar if Highlight die? Maybe the defensive, the night. Nope, sleep not good enough. Misery trying to rotate him with the kill! Counterfinger on Y! Creates a cage and looks to fight, but now Super! He's also caged and he wants to get the hell out, he's been doomed! He drops low, a couple more auto attacks, denied by Ice Ice Ice! Good counterplay, but he may go down as well, the Ice Blast taking him low, it's not quite enough, that fight! The Stolen Fissure again! Connects on three, they need more backup, there's the Blade Fury for Burden! They brought in the Tombstone, but Weeha calmly finishes it off, it will cost them Ii Sama! He's muscled down, now at Decay, more and more of the little Doomlings! Getting the stuns off, setting them up for success here. Ben Rare, Ray says see ya. Three dead and lucky not to use a fourth. FY, he tried to make the big plays. Turtle Envy tried to jungle with the Doom shards, but he underestimated the damage output of Secret in that fight, gods. Yeah, the Doom kill onto Alchemist being kind of the the big key point to take out of that one. Alchemist gets Radiant slowed down. Do the Doom dies, but it's with SF getting a couple of kills. Bottom lane, Misery, uh-oh. Misery, he popped the fissure, and now they're gonna sleep. They don't have a fiend script just yet. The ice blast bit off the mark there as Bernie will just walk away. Let's get debuffed, but I want to point out that last fight. Puppy did a thousand damage, the most on his team. This is a hero that they need to be respecting. Yeah. And it's not just about the ice blast. Cold Feet, one of those spells with a ridiculous cast range that can get a lot done. Mid lane looks like they want to defend this tower. Weeha takes a tombstone and. That's two tombstones for him. They're giving yeah. away a lot of gold here. We'll deny the tower, so a small victory for Vici in that sense, but Secret, happy with the map control they've attained. Now they drop down some aggressive wards, though one of them potentially could be dewarded here. Vici will have to act soon if they want to grab that. We are seeing a, kind of a switch in pace here from Vici Gaming. Not really looking to fight more, splitting up the lanes, trying to farm the map right now. Perhaps feeling like Secret is going to be the stronger team in the clashes. Yeah, Secret trying to find their tempo, being able to combo the Fissure with the Ice Blast. There's a big Dive towards the bottom room. Meanwhile, top lane looks like Master was being pursued a bit, but Ice 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 will back out. Ooh. Colonel be not able to connect there. Interesting little pick up. We has now gone for a Shadow Blade. One of those items which the first use or two can sometimes secure you like a big kill. You can, and also stops heroes like Juggernaut just solo farming lanes if he's scared about a Shadow Blade Requiem initiation. Normally you think of an SF going on you, you're like, oh, just Blade Fury TP, but. The Shadow Blade is here's the debut. Problem item. Burning. Just I... good map sense here, but is it going to be good enough to sense the Shadow Blade sneaking near him? Did he see that TP? Uh, no, he did not. Okay, that was no vision. That, that was, was sick map sense. The, the creeps have now pushed in the tower, but they were not there when the TP came. It was, it was more somebody's off the map. I don't feel safe. I'm gonna just run. And we have much like a Batrider blink dagger. When you first get it, you want to find a big kill using it, but. You don't want to stay missing off the map for too long because you're not farming. He doesn't want to fall behind and just just keep on rotating around, not finding pickoffs. They're prepping for Ice Ice Ice. The Fissure from Misery actually blocks himself away. Now Burning initiates. There's the counter kill for Beachy Gaming. Striking right back. TP gets canceled. And with that, gods, it looks like they will secure a tower top. Well, maybe not. Ooh. Burning, even though the TP gets canceled, he's afraid of other heroes rotating in. Only his eyes on two out of four currently. And the Doom in particular. The one that scares them, but now FY joins the lane, and they will bring down the tower top. So Vichy Gaming, they strike back, but as that's happening, Secret are chunking down bottom as well. Weeha, 
big hitter right now. Whereas your alchemist, yeah, he's got radiance, but man, he is still so squishy. This has very much been a game of trades. Neither team has pulled ahead at really any stage so far. And the gold graph kind of reflects it. This is a 1,000 net worth lead. That is just negligible here. It's like a tower gets taken, now it's back to zero probably. This is, you take a tower, we take a tower. You find a pick off, then we get a counter pick off. Very much each team going blow for blow with one another right now. And we haven't seen a big breakthrough yet from either team. Secret, I guess the one big thing is, is the map control here. With the tier one down mid, they may be able to push out these lanes and, and pressure more as they yeah. smoke. I don't believe it was seen here by the radiant Look at ice, ice, ice. He's positioned such that he can scout the smoke out, hug the tree line, and his hawk will see them. So if they rotate through the jungle, very likely it's going to be unsuccessful. Oh, God. I'm not sure they'll see this one coming, but Vici gave me... At the very least, getting a little bit of pressure top lane. The healing ward was deployed. Only level one. Being pinged out. The ice blast. Daryl's uh, nearby. Can they fight into this is my question. Uh, I don't think they haven't got enough heroes here. They're going to try to get the roar from Puppy. No ice blast would be huge here. The Necro book doing some work, slowing Puppy down, but the Fissure comes in. A massive foray of nukes as they will sleep and then beat down the Necro book. So Puppy lives to tell the tale, which means your Ice Blast is still online, but Ice Ice Ice, one-man army in. trying to stop this. Here comes the Alp, he's TPing right in, there's an Echo Slam available, but Super doomed, even though he's given the range, will be enough, kapow! He gets blown up, the counter fissure from FY, they're gonna lift up Highlight Eye, toss him back down, the Tombstone's doing some work here, but it Bro, seems so not low. quite enough, We Weeha wants to finish it, they're committing, slowly trying to find a way into the fight, it's burning, he has the Echo, or rather the Omni Slash, but it's too late, and Weeha will get the Aegis, and maybe his third Tombstone of the game! My god! Just too cocky from Super. I think he can just TP into five heroes. He had chemical, he precasted chemical rage, but that's not going to stop you going down. It's not going to even help against the Ice Blast. Very kind of suicidal move coming out from Super, and that was I, just I'm not the way to take that fight. I'm took that fight. Yeah, they should either just need to not take it, or Super needs to be the last one going in. Your Jug can try and rush in, using like Blade Tree to protect himself, undying similarly. You're always going to lose one or two, and it's going to be the one or two who go in first, and that's just not where you want the Alchemist to be. I remember, they do have the stolen fissure, and even with it, Ichi have struggled to burst these secret cores down. Starting to get a bit tankier. The Ice 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 back on the Prowl top lane. He does have a roar online. Doom is cooling down. But he's going to need some backup if he wants to go for the kill here on Eternal Envy. Oh, they Secret they're already up. They're so strong right now. They've even got a Blink Dagger on Shaker already. They're smoking up. They smell blood right now. They've got an Aegis on their side. It's time for them to go. Not scouted here is the smoke squad. Oh, Rotates mid in mid meanwhile, mid lane. Looks like Bernie wants to go. He's got Omni Slash. He's just out of range. Oh, he gets it! Man, that was a long jump. And now, meanwhile, top lane. Weeha! Hello, Ice Ice Ice. Say hello to my little friend. Weeha, he picks up right where he left off in the last time these two teams face gods with more big plays. And now in the mid lane, the Blink Taker reveal. FY goes splat as Secret will counter initiate, finding yet another kill. We get two for one around the map and only a support bane going down. Seems like they're getting just enough kills here to yeah. be in the driver's seat. Yeah, it's secret sign to gain momentum. Super trying to fight when he wasn't ready to. And also, like, yeah, he's top of the net worth still, but a normal Alchemist game right now, you'd be about 3,000 net worth ahead of Shadow Fiend. So uh, even 4,000. The lead for Super is not big enough on Alchemist. Uh, and there's still a lot of issues for Vichy Gaming. They can't fight into the ages. Uh, and if anyone gets jumped or picked off, they're very likely to go down. You can't rely on your defensive heals when you're playing against the Ancient Apparition. Will be the SNY build up now for Weeha. Pretty much his bread and butter Shadow Fiend play, as we've seen as of late. Loves the Shadow Blade and then just heads not to get the early BKB. And I'm not even sure if he'll get one anytime soon this game. But for now, he's the man in front, the Siege Engine. A secret starts to bang away on the tower top lane. No real defense in Sight Gods. And there's a worry here for me. Look at the Vici Gaming Draft. They are not the best when it comes to deep pushing these lanes. Yeah, and I, I think this is going to be Vici Gaming looking for trades as much as possible. They lose their tier one top tower. They'll swing towards mid, but again, Secret are always uh, for the last five minutes have been one step ahead. They get to Roshan before Vici Gaming is set up and positioned to defend. They take the top tier one tower before Vici Gaming's in position to counter push the mid lane and take a tower of their own. So by the time Vici Gaming realize what's going on. They've already lost the tower, and it's too late because Secret ready to defend. SNY complete. Aegis still has about two minutes. What do you reckon Secret are looking for with this Aegis? Are they satisfied already? Do they need to take more objectives? What's the game plan here? Very much kind of... It it's, doesn't have to be a farming Aegis, but it's transitioned into that because Vici Gaming do not want to fight. So if you group up 
push a lane with four to five heroes, you're going to get a tower here. The main thing is reversing an alchemist, so you don't want to over five men. Something that Secret are really good at is being efficient on the map with their farm, splitting up their heroes, and also just like being very annoying to deal with because of the split push factor. So I think five manning is just going to give Vici Gaming too much. Shadowblade used to get Weeha over to the top lane. Looks like he was hoping to find solo kill, but nobody on Vici Gaming away from a tower. So they will hang on now. So I want to point out they do have a sentry here, so wise to Weeha's tricks, at least for the time being. They are going for a battle here in the Juggernaut Gods. Not always the buildup that we see. Matumba Man has gone for it on occasion. <laughs> Bird Angel, eh, yeah, this is not the lane for me. So they really want to play this farm game. Yeah, I don't think they have too many other options. With a failed gank at top, they immediately TP bottom and smoke. That Hawk, though! Oh, they were in range. Vici Gaming know this is coming. And I, I believe the best plan is, yeah, they're TPing towards mid and top. They just don't want to fight right now. Ice Ice is going to TP out as well. We'll actually pop the smoke. A uh, long TP there, but yeah. we'll make it out. Only man whose smoke That's... was not blocked or uh, broken was Misery. Great Hawk position from, from Ice Ice Ice. Comes at a pretty crucial timing as the Shivas is now up for Eternal Envy. Big items piling out for Secret. 20 minutes in, the game has definitely slowed down. You look at the pips on the graph and it's gotten a bit quiet as of late. Guys on Pile I Die Hi. Top, super. It's nighttime, looks like you won't quite find him, but Beachy are smoked. They're gonna move in deep with FY here. They know Secret was just in the jungle. They find the Turtle Envy. They get the roar up, but at the same time, the Scorched Earth is going, and they don't even want to touch that. Run! Doom will finish off a couple of creeps. Ice Blasts flying in that general direction. We'll go right through FY. But most importantly, gods, Vici, do avoid the fight. Yep. And they tried to find it, that smoke, trying to find the pickoff on someone like Pi at top lane, knowing that Secret rotated three heroes bottom. That is the safest place to go for a kill. But ultimately, a Bane kill is not going to really change things for them or add much to their, their current position of the game. So it's much safer just to fall back, get a bit of farm, than risk going too close to a tier two tower and the threat of a secret counter initiation. Weeha, he's in pretty aggressively here, and there is actually a Radiant Sentry. Out of vision currently, Axes will push out the wave. The Invis are gonna wear off, but he still has a Shadow Blade if he wants to move in a bit deeper. Not going to just yet, and meanwhile top, FY. Desperately trying to farm up that likely Blink, maybe four staff, but judging by how he's saving his gold, seems like he does want the Blink for the playmaking capabilities. Yeah. Mm. What are, the, what are the kind of dream spells this fight? Fissure still going to be fantastic. If you're still an Echo Slam, you've got Blink Echo capabilities. If you're Fast Fingers, you can take the Doom, but... I think Fissure is still probably one of the most likely spells that he can grab continuously in a team fight. Bane, of course, with Fiend's Grip, something you can't prevent getting stolen if you're channeling. Another problem spell for someone like an SF to deal with. You mentioned that? At the same time, we saw Pi's Bane earlier this tournament. Oh, actually, I think it was Puppies, oh. but Secret's Bane was just so well positioned with the, the grips that even against FY's Rubik, he never managed to steal it. So it is a very stealable spell, but you want to, you want to Pi talk is discipline. Yeah, talking about the save this game, Misery just echo slammed a creep wave and very much on purpose. He's like, I want to push out this wave quickly and then just backs off. That's Secret saying, we don't really care to fight anytime soon. I, I may have not been on purpose, may have been a misclick, but either way, it looked like it was just echo slamming and then backing off after clearing a creep wave. And Well, after that echo, they probably don't <laughs> care to fight, whether or not yeah, that was yeah. the intention originally. I'll wait it out. slowing things down a lot. Well, this maybe plays into Burning Tans here, gets the Battle Fury now. I mean, let's pretend the teams farm for 45 minutes, guys. Let's say they take it nice and slow, okay. Alchemist starts giving away Aghanim Scepters, Doom has that Refreshers, potentially Aghanims. The nerf is not hit just yet until after this patch. Or until after this storm, I should say. Do you have a f preferred team at that point? Does either lineup go better late? If they're both just farming equally, I mean, Vici Gaming have... They're playing with seven item slots on every hero because every hero has a pretty good Ags upgrade here. Rubik, Beastmaster, Jug, Undying, like, they're, they're all decent Ags upgrades, so you've got that added kind of strength in your lineup. Overall, though, I feel Secret's team fight will start to fade off once BKBs get picked up against the Shaker and AA. These are heroes that will somewhat fall off. Ice 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 getting caught out, the Blink Shivas, but there's no Doom Hamada available. Not sure if it'll matter though, as Ice 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 gets caught by the Cold Feet burning. Well, Blade Fury TP out, so they lose the Beastmaster there. Yeah. And it ended up not costing them a Doom. Oh, like a there's the Blink Lift, he doesn't have a BKB, do they have any form of block down here aside from that stun? Yes sir, they do! Burning, Omni slashing Weeha to bits. So they trade their offlane Beastmaster for the streaking Shadow Fiend mid.
This has just been a game of trade. The highest lead all game has been 1,000 net worth. That is un unprecedented. 23 and a half minutes in, no one's been able to take a lead. Experience-wise, yeah, a little bit more for Secret. They've had the extra kill and just been a bit more kind of split up on the map, but an Alchemist, of course, getting bonus gold, basically, through playing, through getting less farm. So, Secret, though, I think we'll probably start to feel their lineup maybe on a bit of a clock. Doom can go very well to the late game, as does the SF, but once kind of those utility items come out, be it things like Lincoln Sphere, Lotus Orbs, it gets a lot harder for a Doom to play in late game scenarios. Feels like it all comes down to initiation if it does go late. Oh, yeah. Does the Shaker get the jump? Will Rubik interrupt somebody and steal a precious spell? Or is there a double doom on two carries? At that point, you're probably dead. FY, the Fissure off the mark here. Misery guesses the wrong way. Echo, not gonna happen. You know, FY, uh... He was so next level, he blinked and waited for the Fissure before he TP. Yeah. And the Fissure actually missed, but he's thinking, okay, I'm gonna get Fissured, it's gonna hit me, but wait two seconds, then TP out. And then if he wants to kill me, he probably has to commit the Echo, because the Enchant Totem may very yeah. well not be in range. So it's risky to use it there. So in the end, we are going to farm up the Ancients. Mm -hmm. See Ice 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 moving towards the top rune, and I guess, gods, it's going to be about Roshan number two, coming in eight seconds. Yeah, and unlike last time, I just feel VT Gaming should be giving it up. It doesn't really hurt their overall game plan, which to me is play for that ultra late game. Secret probably want to strike earlier, which is why giving them an Aegis is a bit dangerous. You may lose a tier two tower or two, but you've got this... You've got the outfield, the Radiance, Manta, Octarine Core, the Naga Siren type play that can come out from Super to keep the lanes pushed out. You can creep wave skip, you can just apply pressure such that Secret can't five man down the lane and expect to threaten your high ground. So I feel Vici Gaming are very good at stalling the game out and defending against pushes by just counter playing. Again, you're looking for those trades which Secret don't really seem to have a way of preventing. It's been a game of keep away, and so far. Seems like it's a game of farming now. <laughs> Speech yep. Gaming, that one kill earlier, apparently gave them a big spike in net worth. And aside from that, there's just been this no dude. real activity. Burning He's got 2k HP and a lot of armor. Oh, he blinks in, and it's into FI. There's an Omni Slash here, but I'm not sure it's in a firepower against the Shiva's Guard of the Heal Burning. Barely tickles the mighty Doom, and oh. yep. See you later. Possibly FI as well. They want a second. They'll get it. E.E. Sama decapitating Beachy Gaming. That was a bold maneuver, gods. Yeah, that was a bit poorly thought out. They had plenty of time to kind of click his items. They can see he's sitting on 2k HP. He's got 20 armor. They, they knew his items. He didn't even have Scorched Earth up, which is, I think, why they thought they could go on him. It's like, oh, a Doom without his Scorched Earth. Let's fight, but... They're gonna roar now. Maybe it's gonna let me overextended. Yep, you betcha. Well... That's how you kill me. Bring in more heroes, more firepower, more <laughs> just, damage. Just say, Eternal MP, blink up the hill into our entire team. Yep. That will take you down. She Gaming, gonna be happy with that. And now the BOT is coming out for the Shadow Fiend. So Weeha Gods, not going for early max combat. Very much a, a mobility build from the Shadow Fiend. A little bit more focused on farming. A little bit more focused on late game for him. And just, it plays into the, the slow pace of this game and the, the play styles we're seeing where being able to rotate very quickly to another lane, like if you get scouted top with two or three heroes, your opponents are always like, for Vici Gaming, they're always going to be like, okay, Secret's committed three to four heroes to this part of the map, let's then counter push the other side of the map. So having boots to travel to counteract the kind of rat dota type play, and also more importantly, find the kills, because Vici Gaming are playing keep away, you need to be able to catch up and remain active, which is where a 45 second cooldown boots to travel is the way to go for Weeha. Be an opportunity for Vici Gaming to make a move. They are in the dark right now. At what point do you think we see a gem come into play, gods? Is this the point where Vici Gaming should be grabbing one? They do have the Beastmaster, they also have the Necro 3, so maybe they don't need it. I think but it feels like Vision has been really important yeah. so far. I think both teams want one quite soon. Uh, AA probably just to help also scout out the Hawks, and you've got the Vortex. These Hawks are preventing Secret from finding pickoffs the entire game. So preventing them from any Roche shenanigans. He just puppy. ice blasted. <laughs> Get the hell out of my pit! It actually expired. <laughs> but... But oh, that's how much he loves yeah. Daryl. These Hawks are actually the reason Vici Gaming kept in this game and now are actually starting to pull away a little bit on farm. Radiance Just this endless trickle of annoying minions streaming around the map. Ice Ice Ice. Even when he's not actually trolling, it still feels like he's a pain in the rear. We're are gonna smoke now. Hmm. Three heroes moving towards the Radiant Ancients. They start painting out back near the top tower. 
They may intercept Super on the retreat. This could be very big. They have the Blink Shivas, the Doom available, but Super is going to bypass the gank. Maybe instead they go in mid. FY, Fissure's there. Ice Blast. Got him. Didn't even need the, the combo there. But now the Doom comes out and Ice 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 is an Omni he's used. Burning, engaging, getting some decent blade for our Battle Fury splash there, but not quite enough to withstand this pounding. It's too much right click damage and he will go down. Ice 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 unable to engage Super running in. They're going in one at a time though, gods. And not fighty as a full five-man squad, and they're going to lose three for that. We the outstun casually lobbed out. There's still an echo here, though. Beachy have to be careful. Very uncoordinated engagement from them. Yeah, the Omni Slash being split evenly between three heroes, and Secret able to survive and tank it up very much. Vici Gaming's undoing there. They had the out boots to travel and really wanted to try and counterplay and teamfight it, but I don't think, I, as soon as they've lost one hero, I think Secret has a very big teamfight edge. They already have the better teamfight lineup with SF, Shaker, AA, and you take one hero out of the picture and one of Vici Gaming's best teamfight specialists, FY Rubik, you should, probably should have just left him to die and not tried to fight it. And he could become even a better specialist if they decide to give him early eggs. But for now, Secret will grab that Aegis for Weeha immediately, sending the Boots of Travel top. Looks like he may be the one to build the Assault Caress here, Gods. He's picked up a, a Hyper Stone, so very... Quite an offensive build. Weeha fairly low on his HP. He's focusing very mm, much on... It's the, defensive the because right of the... Big armor boost it gives against Omni Slash. Jug was actually picked up a lot, like you go back to 6.83 as a hero to deal with the SF because SF is bad at tanking up the, the Omni Slash. He's often kind of isolated in a fight and brought down, so he wants a lot of armor to survive it. Then you've got a Doom with 20 plus armor and SF with 20 plus armor, and you're in business. You can go for like an Ice Armor creep on a Doom, but the Alpha Wolf, the Pack Leader's Aura, is just so insanely good that you'd much rather itemize to get armor and then hold on to the Alpha Wolf Aura. Now, well, Super's getting to six slots now. He gets the AC. Yeah, he's... <laughs> 25k net worth. In your normal six slot, you get AC, then you get your Abyssal Blade, and then you're pretty much start pulling Axe Scepters. You could consider the Moonshot at some point. Yeah, and at, some, at some point, we do see a lot of Alks. They will end up selling the Octarine, sometimes even the Manta. Yeah, yeah. If they want to be more just like a pure right-click BKB, MKB Abyssal type build, but that's looking an extra four items down the road, which is what, maybe... Maybe 20 minutes here, or less. Yeah. And one Depending of the big, big problems with Vici is that Jug just hasn't been a big threat in any of these fights. He got a few really nice coming out. They are going to isolate Fenrir off the bat. Fenrir will go down. Uh, this is right when FY jumps in, but he's oh, still on the jump. fissure. The stun's there from Super. He looks to engage a Weeha. Weeha not to just yet. Has the Aegis, though. They're committing a lot for the Aegis carry. They will pop it. Now do they re-engage. Over the top comes the Doom. It's going to be the two beefy bruisers duking it out, but he's already got the ult going, so he's going to survive. The Fissure coming in again. FY with a huge plays through this is the burning Omni Slash. Came over the top, and FY swags all over their corpses. Blinking in, uses the race, gets another kill. Still a two for three, but remember, they also cracked the Aegis and Gods. They saved both of their yeah. key cores here. It looks like a win they for Vici. Are they going back in? That's a, Riha, he may die here. Riha getting stunned, getting caught. There's no feed script. Defensive sleep, not going to be enough. Riha goes down as well. Beachy Gaming seizing momentum, freeing an Aegis, and keeping both of their carries alive. As Super begins to die up. Yeah, he doesn't want to go quite that far. That's an AA, two supports. He's not really in trouble here, but uh, maybe. Wait, Another Jerry, high style I die, came in to help him, Secret, a bit out of position and getting punished one by one, they will go down, and now the dive, Super wants the team life, he's gonna get it, it looks like, close, close, the Radiance burn, he's almost, almost, got him. That is not the polished play that we saw out of Secret in the winner's bracket, gods. You know, these players didn't say much, but the one word Envy did say was Alchemist. <laughs> in their pre-game interviews, it was very much like, Alchemist is the one scariest thing about versing Vici Gaming, and we're seeing it here. Super now 12,000 net worth ahead of both Secret cores, and very much the reason we see that team fight. He got doomed, but he had the chemical rage up, and they could not bring him down. All of a sudden, that characteristic Vici Gaming killer instinct, they break the base. They're gonna surge forward on the backside. FY will die, but they're still looking to take Elena Brax here. The melee already down. Alchemist just sprinting, doing laps yeah. around the dire base. Really doesn't care. And that was a doom kill. That was a doom FY, kill so on the Rubik. They can't really fight this. They won't have the doom. And Vici just say, "Yeah, hey, we'll back off. We got melee racks. We don't need the range racks now." Is it gonna be a great ice blast here? Catches three. 
But it doesn't seem like too many will get in range. Weeha, maybe he can auto attack Bernie Daddy. Does pretty good move speed. The face boots are activated. Glimmer as well. Well played by Fenrir to cover his carry's retreat. Coming in from the side is Ice 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 Secret. They might be out of it far. Ice Ice Ice, no, he gets gripped. No roar for him. But they still engage forward. Super's got one kill. They're committing a lot for the Alchemist, but he's healed up. He's kept alive. Looks like he may go into the chilly touch now. No, he barely backs up. Puppy holding him in place. Can they chunk him down? Can they slay the beast? Yes, Secret. Finally beat down the Alp God. 10k ahead in net worth. They might lose Fender as well. Oh my. It's Beachy's turn to overextend. Three kills. They did get the lane of Rax Gods and they did get the Bane. But it cost them pretty heavily. That cult be just latching onto the Alchemist. Proving immensely important to win that fight. And Beachy Gaming with a. It's an Arxis. I, I, I said, let's all relax. Yeah. <laughs> Chill. Can't we just be friends? I. Uh... This, this being our first game is just, I mean, this, this file is already continuing where they left off in their winning bracket. That was a 2-0 for Secret, but that was two of the best matches we've seen since TI. And Eternal Envy played some of the best Dota he's ever played yeah. to carry them. You remember that Roche fight? He's, he kills the Roche, he gets the Aegis, he gets two more kills. He's wasted like five, ten minutes of their time with just remnants seen away at the last possible moment. And... It's a little bit harder on the Doom. Yeah, the hero can dominate team fights, but he's not that hero that can make those crazy, like, risky offensive plays where you just cut creep ways, constantly dive supports. He's only got the one Doom at this stage, so at best he's taking one hero out of the picture. Yeah, and doesn't... And a great hero in the late game, but not quite as versatile as an Ember Spirit. Something which has carried Secret across the finish line a number of times is the ability to split push, drag heroes towards you. Doom doesn't have that same mobility that an Ember Spirit brings to the table, and we're kind of seeing it here a little bit, where Secret don't, aren't playing as ratty as they normally will with their lineup. They've got an SF who kind of can, but without a BKB. Not just, I don't think BKB was an item that helps against Alchemist, Jog, Beastmaster role, but very much all it, there's a lift and an elk stun. It's it's enough that Weeha cannot split push by himself. So secret forced to play slightly different to what you'd normally see from them. Well, after that little sequence of events, Alchem is sitting on 5k gold. What's it gonna be? Does he start getting the Aghanim Scepter's first teammates? Is he still looking to farm for himself, gods? What do you think? I don't feel there's any one Ags upgrade that's gonna be a huge game changer. Probably. Hello? 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 Okay, yeah. <laughs> we have, he wanted the hero kill, but he's going to settle for the courier. Now there's a jump forward from a turn on. But yeah, he's got the eggs, but burning is going to be very hard to chase down. Is he going to commit for it? FY. Put by an ice blast earlier and stop. Stole the level dead. Yeah, no ice blast means burning will survive. AA plus Doom, also a great combo. We kind of talked a bit about what were the potential second picks that Secret could go for after the Doom, and AA just has great synergy. You get someone low, they can't be healed up, and you also just make sure that you've got that little bit of extra damage from That's the shot. It does get the lift, but it's on a four staff back as Eternal Envy will be brought towards safety. I believe that mm. was Puppy who got him out. I so, think Secret the really end, tried so to press the issue because they know that the Courier was carrying some valuable item pickups so well. Beachy Gaming do have this like five to 6,000 gold lead. It's very much in just gold they're kind of holding on to right now. So everything they got from that last fight, they haven't been able to pick up yet. The Courier now taken out, now taken out means that Secret want to kind of try and find a fight if possible. Ah, another form of initiation here for Secret. Shadow Blade grab by Misery. If there wasn't already enough cause to consider a gem, that Necro 3, not always available. Maybe something they look towards now. Not often you see a game go this long without gem pickups. Neither team with, like, ideal candidates to carry a gem. Beast, well, Beastmaster actually can completely take that back. Very good with a gem. AA probably the ideal here to have it on the secret side, and... Ah, the 5v3 it. item. <laughs> there we go. That's an item pickup. Yeah, this this, now, could, this this is the item that can win you the game. If now it secret. becomes a game of initiations. You jump this Doom. You bring him down before he gets off a single Doom, then you win, you win the game if you're Vici Gaming. Vice versa, if Secret get off two Dooms on key targets, the fight is just straight up lost for Vici Gaming. The other big thing I talked about at the very start before it began was, these AA Ice Blasts are going to be team fight to size as well. A Doom target can be kept alive through heals, but if they're hit by an Ice Blast as well, they're done for. Maybe the Alk, if his ult's going and they don't Ice Blast him, can live yeah. for a while, but... Outside of him, they all do feel rather frail as they're going to group up behind Weeha on the back of this, but Vici already up the one melee rack, so looking to split push elsewhere. Turtle Envy popping the Shivas, jumping forward. Ice 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 is going to turn, he blinks on the race, then he goes back in for the roar. Super, where's the backup? They're going to need more here. They try to engage FY, jumping in.
and he's still in the Fiend's grip in the midst of the fight, but they've zoned super back. He's not able to fight. They lose the Rubik, a sacrificial play from FY's Misery. Hunting, there's the Enchant Totem to start. Club Fenrir looking for the Fissure soon in one second. Don't need it. They lose the Undying as well. Hmm. Bit sloppy. They did Vichy. commit the Refresher there, but he did yeah. use the second Doom. And Vici did not have, Jug was just at top, but like the shop just finishing a couple of items it looked like and... Yeah, he's, he's almost got the Manta now. Uh, yeah. Courier should be... He also has a Blink Dagger, I believe, on the Courier for, for the yeah, Jug. Yeah, he's got Manta, he's got Blink. I think it may even be a... Is it a Scotty or a Manta, this game? Um, I believe he had the Manta recipe. Okay, yeah, he's got the recipe. There we go. Yeah, there you go. Obviously, something that can really mess up a Doom in a team fight. You yeah. pop the Manta when he jumps in, maybe he Dooms the wrong unit, maybe he just doesn't want to cast the Doom and then gets Chain Stunned, though. Chain Stunning this beefy mm. bugger is not going to be easy. Now he's got a Reaver, 21 armor, 3,000 health. Yeah. Let's get the Fusal Blade grab from Burning. It looks like this is designed to somewhat counter that puppy Ghost Scepter. Yeah, good against the Ghost Scepters and just ensuring that you get kills on heroes you initiate on. Not to mention, pretty good damage. This item gives a lot of agility, and it's always good on agility carries. All right, gods. Yeah, it's about that time of the game where Alchemist is done farming for himself. He has yeah. spent a bit of gold now. He's got an axe coming. Axe number one inbound. Yeah. First goes the way of burning. His lucky say. day is it? <laughs> uh, Jug, you want? You, he gets more stats from it. He's going to be tankier, harder to kill with Doom, and the Omni Slash a lot more damage. So with a blink. And decent Angie, he can do huge damage oh, with the eye. Uh, he's out far. They're gonna use the crow here to bring in reinforcements. Pi Roared outside the base. The stun comes through. The courier might even be in trouble. And uh, no, he'll be burst down. Courier, however, will limp away. Quick and decisive. Now the Aghanim's officially construction completed. Let's see who's gonna get it. Yeah, and, uh, I feel like last time it was ice, 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 but it may be different this time. Uh, it's the jug. On the just a burning. And a big problem that Vici were having until they won that fight and took Rax was that Jug didn't really have a huge impact in fights, the Omni Slash damage being negated by the, the armor items, and now he's actually caught up. He was uh, about 6k and plus. He leads the way. He's going to jump on a super, but he got up the ult. Does he still want to do him? Yeah, he does, and then Misery! Three heroes completely caught out! Super try to man fight, but he can't do it alone, and now Burning forced to blink, turn tail, and run. My god, that was quite the echo. Almost by Dyson, but there's the level death. They'll catch him out as well, slapping him down. A gigantic dunk from the Shaker. <sighs> Misery. My god. Up big. Puppy as well, landing the Ice Blast on the Alchemist that once he got doomed, he was not getting the Chemical Rage regen, which could have kept the Alk alive as well during that fight. But Secret just gained a better initiation. Great use of the smoke, catching Vici by surprise. And this is coming as Roche is back, so Secret may get an Aegis out of this as well. Oh, First priority seems to go for a tier 2 high ground and possibly even, yeah, forcing those buybacks by going for the high ground. Well, how do Vici avoid that? So they need better vision here? Is the Hawk position? Like, obviously that's no. the type of fight they don't want to be taking. The Hawks were, were pushed for, further forward, expecting Secret to like be in defensive position, so they were not ready for the, uh, the smoke to come from behind. But ultimately, it's just something at this stage of the game, even with Hawks up, you never know when those smokes are coming, so you've got to kind of just be very disciplined. It's not something you can just straight up avoid. They have found Ice 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 here, Omni Slash coming through, he's got a Doom available, there's the lift, trying to lock him in place, and smack him down, EE -E will fall. A big grab for Burning, ending a mega kill streak. Though it does come at the cost of an Aegis, but one gods that they were, never they were unlikely to contest. Yeah, they had no way to fight that Aegis regardless, so that's a important kill for Vici Game to find, and they're actually going to look to fight into this. Thanks, Envy. Just in case we forgot. <laughs> some intimidation tactics here. Yeah, I'm gonna give you some info and then beat you anyway. Okay. They are going deep here, gods, but nobody on the map. Puppy just casually chilling in the fountain. Oh my. This may be the biggest item pickup of the game, even more than the refresher. Aghanim Scepter now coming out for the Ancient Apparition, and he never got the Midas. This... Puppy has done it simply by not dying. 4 1 and 7 against this line. Oh, oh, we are barely TPs away from this gank in time. If Both they heroes. found him, he, they just kill him twice with ease. Things will settle down a bit now. Of course, the age is still up on the Shadow Fiend, and in terms of gold, yeah, there's an Alchemist in this game, but we are not seeing it on the graph. It, you get ahead with that Hero Gods, and of course, it, it does tend to rubber he, he band a bit. He threw 4,000 gold to a teammate, though, so... Well, I mean, it terms of the overall... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The overall 
Right. Gold, gold exchange is very much gone secrets way after that big team fight. Still the one rex advantage, a T3 mid also down. And we're going to see more and more acceptors get pulled, I imagine. May finish off something like an Abyssal Blade, but very much an item which, for, for Super, these fights come down to whether or not he gets doomed and ice blasted or not. So I, I don't even know if Abyssal Blade is going to be the best item pickup for him here. He may rather go for something a bit more defensive. It almost, feels, it almost feels—it almost feels like he has to just like take a doom for the team and buy back or something because somebody's getting doomed in these yeah. fights. I, I, I like that. I, uh, that's how like traditionally we saw like dooms kind of get beat in the late game. You just have buybacks on the cores who are getting doomed and just buy the back and take a fight, knowing that doom's now on cooldown. Oh, big committed jump here from Secret as they smoke in deep in radiant territory. Don't think the actual smoke was scouted, but they have a lot of deep vision and certainly the only hero they have seen is Eternal Envy. Who of course has boots of travel, though they are cooling down. Beachy backing off. They're gonna buy perhaps the most important item right now. It's not a big fancy Aghanim Scepter, it's just a, an observer ward. They need that vision so they don't get jumped like they did before mid. Definitely, you know, you sometimes you see an out game gods and it's like, okay, he's just gonna farm his way to victory. He's gonna be five items up on the enemy carry at 30 minutes. He's gonna give two Aghanim Scepters to his teammates and they could just basically brute force it to the enemy base. This is not one of those yeah. games. This is going to come down to, strangely, I, the supports. Whether Misery can hit a huge blink echo slam like that. Whether Pet Puppy lands at Big Ice Plus. Beans Group, whether you can lock down a core with it. And similarly on this, the side of FY, can he counterplay this with the Rubik? Oh, uh, he does have the Force Staff using it. Weeha still pursuing. Blake's out. Uh. <laughs> Weeha didn't want to let him go that easy. Back here, buddy. We'll make it home. And the rat intensifies. Ice, ice, ice with his own blink dagger. Obviously good for initiation, but also a great item to just split push and brings them now to two blinks, actually three. I mean, FYs, as well as the four staff. It seems Fichi with that one melee rax advantage that they still hold, as well as the low range rax bottom. And the exposed rax mid, they may try to take this game by not actually fighting at all. Yeah, this game feels like we're at a bit of a stalemate right now, and it's Secret who are more looking to break it, but by the continuous split push. Oh, what deleted! One fissure, one auto attack, okay. that's all it takes, and guess who does not have the buyback gods? Yeah. Not a, like, a great high ground defender anyway, so I don't... It, it helps a little bit having the Undying, the bonus amp, the amp damage coming out from a Flesh Golem for a team fight's pretty massive and an underrated aspect of the hero, but... The rest of the Vici side still alive and ready to defend and also ready to split push. Creeps might turn out to be the true heroes here for Vici Gaming. Coming home to defend was Misery. Beastmaster. Let's have the Necro Bulk. Pretty cool. Ice 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 wanted to just go for a backdoor play. If Secret pushed high ground, he was going to try to backdoor the melee racks. The thing they're lacking here, though, are multiple boots of travel. They've only got one on the Alchemist right now. And they may need him for that high ground defense with the Acid Spray. I think Secret very wary of that. MB's been in too many situations where not having a TP or getting just counter pushed has been the, the end of his game. And so, so he's still positioned very aggressively here in the bottom lane, just waiting for a pick up, pick off to come his way. And you can see the calls being made now by Seeker. Get this bottom lane oh. pushed out. This is the lane where we don't have the melee racks. And then we'll try to go for an objective. They've already gotten the mid tower. Satanic now complete on the Shadow Fiend. We are getting ever more tanky. They may have the firepower they need to bulldoze it down, and especially if they're able to grab that rune god's double damage bottom. Oh, just expires. We now going to Well, this. never mind. <laughs> no, it's a game winning rune, so nice nothing at all, but they have got a roar and we have bottom. There's the Ox. Uh, not the hero they want to focus. They see that Satanic, and now the punishment's going to come. Eternal Envy will take down Ice Ice Ice. That's one Doom committed. As the refresher, though, they're hunting super here. Ice Blast ready in 10. He's a bit too far away, it looks like, but Eternal Envy leaps forward, has the Shivas. He's gonna crack it and just barely clipping Super. That's gonna slow him down enough, and they get up the Doom. They try to block him in. He runs right through and just goes kapooey. But meanwhile, they've got the rack intensifies. They've taken almost entirely a range racks here. Did they manage to cut the wave? No, they didn't. They may need to use some buybacks. They're going to commit the SF to the mid lane, which means that for Secret, you want to defend with as few heroes as possible. And right now, it's just Envy holding the top lane, and he can TP back in in 20 seconds. Secret muscling up mid. They're going to raise out the wave. Weeha's the man in front. Puppy 
Close behind him. In terms of the vision, right now they get a fader. It's on two. Misery again with the dump up burning. No sense to play for a dodge. They're going to buy back. Buy back. Every committed for this. Bring we have. He goes pop, but has oh, his own buy right back. Up. They need more. They're going to jump on a puppy. Roar is available. They want pilot eye as well. They've got to get these extra kills. Fissure comes out. Stagger to control their achievement. but they roar. Pilot eye. The axes come through from Ice Ice Ice. Then they stun. They control. They smack down puppy as well. They're even going to get pie. They needed it. And they also need this misery kill as he spins. Dust is there. No escape from Vici. Popping the cheese. Trying to hang on. The blade fury comes through. The counter fissure. Death for all who push in. And now bottom creeps in the base. Four buybacks available. But God's oh. a death here from a key Vici hero could in a moment potentially cost them the game. And, and they're going to roll those dice. And they just knew that once they had the SF locked in place, the telekinesis was like the signal. That was the rocket play which said, we're going in right now on telekinesis, triple buyback. They engaged, Raw came back up, and Secret have got to use their buybacks while here. I feel like they want to find pickoffs, not just defend their base right now. Ice Blast will connect. Somehow manages to just barely clip three and considering that's an Aghanim's Ice Blast, that may stall the push though with the creeps here and the illusions. They almost bring down the rack solo. They might just go to kid up this melee. There's the fish and they get the job done. FY again setting the team up. They'll hold onto the SF buyback, but being down two lanes full of Rax is a big problem now for Secret. They're already having issues defending against the split push, and now it's not just the heroes, it's gonna be creep waves just swarming in on them. Roche will be a long respawn, it looks like. Neither team they can be rewarded. They though. wanted to hold the buyback gods, and it felt like they were hoping that Vici would overcommit. They could kill maybe two of the heroes that bought back and then just go win the game. Yeah. 5v3. I mean then you've got the Doom, so it's maybe 5v1. Oh, well, it comes out on Korea. <laughs> oh, got it. What did it have? Oh, that's the completed heart for Eternal Envy. Okay. He could but technically annoying. buy the components again if he just wants it now. Yeah. Then you don't have buyback, which was the whole reason why they allowed that push to happen mid. This game will slow down a little bit. I guess both teams can be concerned about the, the Roche, but probably more so secret. Vici don't have to get Roshan. They don't even have to contest it. As long as they're split pushing and applying pressure, they can actually just stall out the Aegis time um, by just new strategy, but... Secret likely to go for an all-in play if they can get themselves an Aegis of Cheese just because you can't, like, you're down two lanes, you're just at risk of losing that third lane, you've got to make something happen soon. Misery will let out a little frustration on a boar, but we all know there's more where that came from, from Ice Ice Ice. Michi are going to back off a little Ooh. bit. I like this pickup from Super. He went for just pure raw HP, picks up a heart of Taras. I mean, I talked about, for him, it's not about dishing out damage, it's about surviving the Doom Ice Blast, and raw HP is the best thing that will keep you alive in a fight, so harder to ask it is. Yeah, you, you go for the BKB, sure, you can do a Dice Blast, you're gonna get doomed, so... No real point. Burning is being eyed up by Eternal Envy, jumps in, but he's not got the initiation he wanted! There's a Roar! There's a Fissure! They're gonna lock him down and control him, now they commit the Roar, but Ice 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 is getting Chunk Burning! Staying very far back, now the Omni brings down one! Looking for two! We are the life! It keeps him alive and now the Fissure that can play again for midpoint. Looking for Puppy. There's a double buyback here on Secret. They're coming back in. They need these kills. Doom. No, he refreshed before he Oh, not gonna be good enough. I think he just wasted a Doom there. Now chasing forward on a Super. There's the Doom. Finally, a Super sprints for the base. They kill off the Healing Ward. But gods, it feels like they almost have to go for it right now. Jug and Undying both can buy back here. Can they defend this one? This is it. This is do or die for Team Secret, as well as Vici Gaming in game number one. It well could be, but all the lanes are pushing out bottom lane. Plenty of insurance here. They're going to work on the tower. Vici Gaming, they stole a game earlier this tournament. Going straight for the throw. Now Secret going onto the racks. They're not committing for the bigger objectives yeah. here. They're going to try to wait out at least Beastmasters respawn. And giving Secret as much as they can kind of risk getting away with here, but this will even things up a lot. With Raw, though, they may make, look to make a play onto the SF. Uh, is it two for two here? Beachy not ready to go in just yet. They're going to drop down the acid spray. Sun comes out onto Misery. There's the counter initiation. Jumping. Uh -oh. Doing so much damage in this fight, and now they're going to lose their shaker. The ice as well. It's Weeha next. Beachy Gaming with the answers. They can't stop Pilot Eye. He'll TP out, but into the front lines is super. He's here first. I'm back. 
And now looking for more. He may rush out of the throne. Honestly, they're two most important heroes, gods. The Ancient Apparition, the Earthshaker, they can't get back in the fight. This could potentially even be the, the throne. Yeah, do they want to go for it? I think they're likely all in. If Alchemist can get a great, a good sunset of any kind, it's a quick, easy pickoff with the blink follow-ups. And for now, they are pinging out top. Burr keeps on going. The glyph is deployed. Sitting back. Eternal Enemy will not jump in. He's looking oh, for that doom option. Manta. But the Manta style's going to lose. Oh, he's going to lose it. Eternal Enemy beaten down. And now no doom. No buyback. And game one, as you can probably hear, is going to beat you. These Mantas from burning and super. You see that doom blink on you with the doom cast time. Super's reactions keeping him alive. And what a way to start off our grand finals. Well, Vici Gaming, many questions if they had a shot after the way they were dealt with in game number, or in the previous series. They got 2-0. Both games are quite convincing, guys, but 